England are through to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Euro 2020, where they will play Ukraine in Rome. Two second half goals from Raheem Sterling and Harry Kane were enough as the three Lions ended their 55 year wait for a knockout victory against Germany. Here's how Gareth Southgate's men defeated the Germans at Wembley. And here is Harry Kane for England. And there's Jack Grealish. And here's Luke Shaw. And there for England is number 10 again, Raheem Sterling. 75 minutes. 75 minutes that felt like an eternity before England's Raheem Sterling finally broke the deadlock to send Wembley into raptures. Just have to take a touch, think too much about it, just use the pace that's on the ball. Generations across England had waited for this moment. After all, England hadn't beaten Germany in a tournament knockout game since 1966. That is 55 years of wait right there. And His Royal Highness Raheem Sterling Shaw's on the march. And here's Grealish. And there's Kane! But England weren't done just yet. Reach out! Harry Kane, who has had an indifferent campaign up until this point, who looked tired and leggy throughout the game, finally rose to the occasion and scored his first goal of the Euros. It's there to be finished for a striker, be it Sterling or Kane. It's a brilliant cross, a considered cross. Substitute Jack Grealish sent a perfect cross for the England captain to head it past Manuel Neuer. England knew then that they had won. 41,000 English fans at the stadium and not one of them who wasn't shouting and celebrating at the top of their voice. So much spoken of history. It is being written before our eyes. England legend David Beckham, singer Ed Sheeran and even the Royals were all there witnessing England's domination. Down to make it 1-1. With that Kane goal, it looks as if Germany's tournament is over. They had finally broken the German jinx at Wembley. In the past seven meetings between the two countries at Wembley, Germany had won five and drawn two. But not this time. Just in this moment. The 2014 World Cup champions were sent packing home. In tears, wonderful career, a great, great servant of his country. However, between the two England goals, there was a moment. A moment that could have changed the face of the game. It's Thomas Muller for Germany! And he's dragged it wide! But veteran Thomas Muller fluffed a golden chance when he was through on goal and had only England's goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford, to beat. Taken their opportunity and have Germany miss theirs. A goal then could have brought the Germans level. And still, Thomas Muller... But that was that. And England roamed home at the end. England, modern England, writes their own new history. Now that they have seen of the German challenge, England find themselves on a favourable route to reach the final. First by Raheem. Only time will tell if this English side has it in them to win the trophy. A day for which a nation has thirsted. But first, they need to win their last yet encounter that awaits them in Rome. That England beat Germany is in itself for now sufficient. Sports Bureau India today. Hurdles lie ahead. England can believe.